All right, guys, this is a late 70s Johnson V4. Um, this one came in, uh, hadn't been ran in a while. I uh, went ahead and flushed the fuel tank out. Uh, took out about six to eight gallons of fuel, uh, bad fuel. Flushed the tank out. I installed a brand new external uh, fuel filter on it. Uh, went ahead and rebuilt the carburetors. Um, this one, he was complaining of uh, bad uh, spark or misfire. I have not changed these coils yet, but I, I'm planning on uh, uh, oming them out and running them after dark and see if I can see any, some sparks. Um, this is going to be the first startup. I got the, uh, the water running and uh, let's see if she'll start. Um, they usually start right up after you rebuild those carburetors. Um, just, you know, pump the primer bulb and this one has a uh, electric primer, not an electric choke. Um, if you don't know the difference, you do a little bit of research because sometimes people have trouble starting these things. It's because they're over priming them thinking they're choking it. Um, so this one has electric primer. The way you do it is you uh, turn the key in the on position. You press the, you pump up the bulb, then you press the primer in for about two or three seconds without turning the key. Then you let go, then you turn the key. So it's actually squirting fuel into the motor uh, without it cranking. A choke works under vacuum, and it uh, it'll it'll suck up more fuel while it's cranking. This does not have a this one does not have a choke. It's a primer. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start this and see how she runs here. Pump it up here. Alright, turn the key in the on position. And push it in. You should hear a, a, a solenoid click at the motor. Listen for it. Hold it in for about three seconds and turn the key and see what happens. Sounds good. Checked the compression earlier and it was 120 on all four cylinders. Uh, this thing's going to uh, get buttoned backed up and uh, this boat's getting some accessories put on it. And after that, we'll go out for a lake test. See you guys tomorrow.